Social media apps like Meetup are fostering virtual relationships, bringing people within a community together and allowing them to feel more confident and connected to others. Meetup is all about, frankly, like curing the loneliness epidemic. It's, it's, it's an app and also a website um, that's been around for 18 years that was founded right after 9-11 um, to build community for people. Socially engaging with others can not only increase your knowledge on unknown topics, but provides social support. This is important for a lot of things. Knowing you have someone there in a stressful situation or during hard times is really beneficial. Sometimes you don't realize how much you need something until it's gone. And following the pandemic, solidarity has negatively affected some. Thankfully, apps have been adapting. Prior to the pandemic, we didn't even allow online events. We said they all had to be in person. In the last eight months, and this is quite remarkable, we've had over 1.5 million online events. Social interaction has a positive effect on the brain to buffer pain. There's a hormone called oxytocin. Um, it's associated with childbirth, with breastfeeding during sexual intercourse, but it's also that hormone we have an experience with closeness with other people. Although many are unable to meet in person, having a common denominator to bond on, even if virtually, can sustain a relationship for the future and greatly impact the well-being of an individual. Now someone organizes, here's an example, uh, an ecstatic dance meetup group. And I just heard from the organizer and she said, oh my God, I used to get you know, 10, 12 people from my little town. Now I just had double the number of people and they were from like 12 different countries. In a study conducted by the University of Pennsylvania, it was concluded that individuals were positively impacted by the app's ability to bring people together. 72% of users who participated in the cross-sectional study said they have created more friendships. Reporting in the Brazos Valley, Brittany DeFran, 25 News.